Hey, it's John. I wanted to talk a bit today about winter weather. As you know, in the winter in the Arctic, it is dark day and night. This creates an area of the atmosphere that becomes extremely cold, and this mass of cold air is called the polar vortex. It is typically stable over the North Pole. As you go south, the air becomes warmer, where it is still heated by the sun. This creates a strong force where warm air flows toward the pole, but the spin of the earth causes it to rotate around this cold, dense air mass. This air boundary is called the polar night jet and follows the rotation of the earth as a strong westerly wind and acts as a curtain containing the polar vortex of frigid air. Large storms, mountainous terrain, and temperature gradients create giant planetary waves in the atmosphere that batter the polar night jet and disrupt the stability of the polar vortex. This can cause it to shift southward off the pole, split it into two, or even reverse direction of the polar night jet. When waves of warmer air break into the polar vortex, a phenomenon called sudden stratospheric warming can take place. And that's what is happening right now. It's unusual for it to happen so early in the winter. Uh, Typically happens several times a decade. So... Um, This intrusion of the warm air can cause an increase in the temperature in the atmosphere over the poles by as much as 150 degrees Fahrenheit. So warming air disrupts the polar night jet containing the frigid air and can cause it to spill southward for weeks at a time. I think I better dig out the thick jacket, the thicker socks, and fill the fuel barrel. I won't be surprised to see the dog decide to start peeing inside. I like outdoors as much as anybody, but uh, I'm thinking that curled up by the fire for the next few weeks might not be a bad idea. Uh, Consider subscribing if you would. I hope you found that informative. Um, I think that's going to be our reality. Bye-bye.